Each year, as we mourn the loss of the Beit HaMikdash, there is a strange but strong sense of optimism that runs throughout the laws and liturgy of Tisha B'Av. But what gives us the right to be so optimistic on a day that is marked for our national destruction? The answer might be found in a story about Rabbi Akiva and his colleagues, who shortly after the destruction of the Second Temple at the hands of the Romans, paid a visit to Har Habayit, where the temple once stood. In its place, they found total destruction and desolation, a place that was now overrun by foxes. The site was so profoundly disturbing that it caused Rabbi Akiva's colleagues to break down in tears. But Rabbi Akiva broke out in laughter. Astounded, his colleagues demanded an explanation. Rabbi Akiva told them, what we're witnessing here is a fulfillment of the prophecy given to Uriah the Kohen centuries earlier, a prophecy given at the time when the first Beit HaMikdash stood, and that foretold the destruction of the second temple and promised that its beautiful grounds would one day lay in ruins overrun by foxes. But there was a second prophecy, a companion prophecy given to Zechariah the prophet centuries later, a prophecy that foretold a time when the Beit HaMikdash would one day be rebuilt and the streets of Jerusalem overtaken by elderly people singing its songs of praise. Rabbi Akiva maintained, that if we are now seeing the destruction of the Beit HaMikdash and the fulfillment of that first prophecy, then I must believe that the second prophecy, one of rebuilding and restoration, will someday come true. Rabbi Akiva's colleagues turned to him and said, Akiva nicham tanu, Akiva nicham tanu. Rabbi Akiva, you have comforted us. We too can take great hope in knowing that God directed his wrath at the temple itself, not at those serving inside it. Rabbi Akiva's message is one of eternal hope. We are down but never out. Our fortunes can be reversed. Our losses can be recovered. And that is the enduring message of Tisha B'Av. It's always darkest before the dawn, but we always hold out hope in the promise and prospect of a better and brighter tomorrow.